are here to celebrate with her. Each has friends from dance school, high school, teachers from high school, her uncles, aunts, and cousins are here amongst us. Your presence and support is what makes this an enjoyable evening. We are very happy that you are here with us today. Thank you. For some of you here, this might be the first time you are attending an Arangi room. So let me explain what that is. Ar Arangam in Tamil means stage, and Atrum means ascending. Arangatrum means ascending the stage. It marks the completion of years of training and learning the intricacies of the art under the guidance of a distinguished teacher. It signifies the graduation opportunity for the dancer to showcase a debut solo performance before an esteemed audience. It is an auspicious occasion where the artist offers the art at the feet of the guru and the divine dancer Nataraja. Bharatanatyam is one of the oldest classical dance forms originating from the state of Tamil Nadu, South India. It is named after the Rishi Bharata Muni, who comprehensively compiled the guidelines for this art form in the treatise Natya Shastra. The name Bharatanatyam has Ba for Bhavam, which is expression, Ra for Ragam, which is melody, and Tha for Talam, rhythmic beats, and Natyam, the dance itself. The art form requires years of hard work and discipline. Different hand gestures with the mudrams and facial expressions, abhinayams, are used to convey the meaning of the songs. This dance form consists of three components, Ritta, Nritya, and Natya. Nritta is the pure dance based on technical and rhythmic movements. Nritya expresses the facial and different hand gestures and body movements. Natya, a combination of Nritta and Nritya, like a dance drum. So, are you ready for a pop quiz now? Okay, moving on. This traditional dance form is known for its grace, purity, tenderness, and sculptural poses. Today, it is one of the most popular and widely performed dances all over the world. Now, before we begin this evening's Abhartanatyam program, we request you to take a moment to silence your phones. Also, we request you not to leave in the middle of the performance in order not to distract the artist. Also, please refrain from flash photography. And final reminder, there's no food allowed in the auditorium. Um, thank you for helping this, helping making this an enjoyable evening. I would like to introduce our center of attention of today's Arangetrum, Isha Bandaru. Isha is a senior from Adlai Stevenson High School. Apart from learning Indian classical dance, she's a black belt in Taekwondo. She was also a member of the first Lego League, uh, which won an international competition. In her free time, she loves to hang with her friends, spend time with her cat, Milo, and dog, Lucy. She loves playing the bass guitar, and she loves to paint. I have known Isha since the FLO days as a wonderful, cheerful, bubbly girl. She can have an engaging con conversation with people of any age group. The effort and dedication she has put into learning this dance form and also through high school is commendable. It shows how tenacious she is. Especially over the last several months, I have seen her grit and determination in polishing the dance steps for today. She certainly puts her heart and soul into anything she does. I'm privileged to be here to witness her dance graduation, her engagement. Isha's Arangetam is choreographed by her gifted Bharatanatyam teacher, Guru Srimati Anuya Vagmistri, the founder and artistic director of Navarasa Dance. <laughs> this evening, Anuya will also accompany on the Natwandam. Today's program is enhanced by some of the North America's finest musicians. Srimati Minu Pashupati as her lead singer. Ravi Shankar Subramanyam on Murdanga. Kiran T. Vikarthi Kayar on violin. Sri Sami Patel on the flute. Sri Dhuva Nirmal on Veena. Kiran T. V. Vaid Nusri on Kabbalah. He's missing right now, but he'll be there later. We will start with a prayer song to Lord Ganesha. That will be her first dance. Our inaugural dance for this evening is Pushpanjali, a floral offering with folded hands to Lord Ganesha. First, Isha will enter the stage and offer respectful salutations to Lord Nataraja. She then seeks the blessing of her guru, the musicians, and the audience. 
the dancer then touches the ground to pray for blessings and forgiveness from Guma Devi, Mother Earth, to bear with her stomping and on the ground while dancing. Then the prayer says, then the dancer says, O Lord Ganesha, the Divine One with the elephant face, God of success and remover of all obstacles, please protect me. This Pushpanjali is composed by Dr. M. Balamurli Krishna in Ragam Arbi set to Adi Thank you.
start of the evening. Thank you, Isha. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to our vocalist, Srimati Minu Pasupati. Minu Pasupati. She started her initial classical music training from Mrs. Uh, Srimati Lila Vati Venkatachar and continued her advanced training from Srimati Vijaya Nagarajan and Chitravina Sri Ganesh Sudarsan. Minu has her master's degree in Indian Carnatic classical music from the University of Madras, India. Since 2011, Minu has been director of South Asian Music Ensemble at the University of Chicago. Minu is the founder and director of Akshaya Music Academy in Rolling Meadows, Illinois. She has been teaching vocal music to aspiring students of all ages since 1990 in person and online. With a wonderful versatile voice, Minu has performed various concerts in South Asian, South Indian genres, namely Carnatic classical, folklore, devotional songs, film music, etc. She is also the most sought after vocalist for various dance recitals. Minu has given lecture, demonstrations, and voice culture workshops. She is also the title winner of Bajaj Kolkate Sakhar Swarango, a music reality show in Sun TV, Chennai, for the year 1997. She is also a proud recipient of Miss Voice Award from Bharat Sangeet Utsa, Michigan, for the year 2012. We feel honor, very honored here to have you today. Thank you. Our next dance today is Alaripu. Alaripu is derived from the Telugu word Alaripu, which means decorate with flowers. Alaripu is traditionally the first dance that the students learn and perform in Bharatanatyam. There is absolutely harmony of movement between the head, hands, and feet, representing the rhythm or the pure dance aspect of Bharatanatyam. It is based on rhythm and is focused on relaxing the body of the dancer. Alaripu begins with atamis or neck movements, followed by mandi adava in the second half and later culminates with vibrant footwork and tirmanam adava. This Alaripu is performed to the song Agaramum Agi, a musical composition by Sri Arunagiri Nadar in Ragam Shankara Baranam in Chaturshri Ekatali.
journey when he was six, when he came under the tutelage of Sri Kumbakonam Rajapa Iyer. He had his advanced training under famous Mandarbadi Sri A. Ishwaran and continues to learn from him. He has been performing in concerts both in India and USA for the past 25 years. He has accompanied several accomplished artists such as Dr. N. Ramani, the Karnataka brothers, Shashikiran and Ganesh, and Shankaran Nambudari. He has also been performing for dance arrangements and productions around Chicagoland for the past 20 years. He runs a school of rhythm called Swaralaya in the Chicagoland area, through which he trains and prepares future Murdangam artists. Professionally, Ravi is the director of pro product management for a multinational company. It's wonderful to have you here, Ravi. Our next dance for this evening is Jati Swaram. Jati Swaram is a dance expression of the ideas and impressions evoked by musical songs. It has no special mood and it aims to purely be aesthetic pleasure by the creation of forms of beauty through poses and movements in rhythm. The rhythm of dance is set to one or more of the five basic rhythmic majors, Tisra, Chatushra, Tanta, Mishra, Chankirtana Jatis. Jatis. Jati Swaram is a combination of Jatis and musical notes called Swaras. It is the pure dance, Ritha, which has Adavas set to the Jatis and the Swara patterns set in a particular ragam and thala. This Jati Swaram is composed by Dr. Sorry, K. N. Dandayudapani Pillai in the ragam Hamsadwani and Thalam Rupakam. Thank you.
We'll have a quick musical interlude by Karthik Ayer.
Mishka for our wonderful performance as well. We would now like to introduce our violinist for the evening, Chunji Mikarthi Kaya. of the renowned violinist Srimati Dalguri Vijayalakshmi. Under her tutelage for the past 15 years, Karthik has imbibed the Dalguri Bani of the legendary Sri Dalguri Jayaraman with all its nuances. Karthik is also proficient in vocal. He had his initial training from Srimati Vasanti Ayer of Chicago. His keen sense of layam, ragam, and bhavam makes him a sought-after accompanist for music concerts and dance productions. Currently, Karthik is a sophomore at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, majoring in physics. Thank you, Karthik. <laughs> Our next dance for the evening is Natesha Kautuam. Kautukams are Kautuam, where once performed by temple dancers as rituals. During the month of Marguerite, which is usually between December 15th and January 15th, when the Utsama Murtis were brought out for precision, these dances were performed. In a Kautuam, Sholukatu, or rhythmic syllables, are intertwined with the lyrics of the song. Thus, it has both Ritta, which is the footwork, and Abhinayam, which is the expression, as components in its choreography. Musically, most Kautuams are composed in ragams Natai, Gaurai, Arabi, Garari, Hamsatoni, and Sri Rama. Ganga Luktu Natuanar and the Tanjavur Quartet have penned most of these Kautuams. The Natesha Kautuam is in the praise of Lord Shiva, the third god in the Hindu trinity, as well as the god of dance in his Nataraja form. His cosmic dance symbolizes creation, protection, dissolution, embodiment, and release. This is a fast-paced piece that has beautiful poses of Natesha, the dancer, says, I go to him whose anklets make the sound jum jum, whose bells produce the sound chana chana while he performs the cosmic dance. I go to the one who holds the trishula and writes the nandi, the one who loves music and dance. I go to the one adorned by the sun and the moon and who dances with damru in one hand. This composition in praise of Lord Nataraja by Gangai Muktu Natwanar is in Ragam Hamsadwani and Chaturshra Ekataram. Now you will be witnessing an exciting mother-daughter performance. Aruna has learned both Kuchipudi and Bharatanatyam along with Isha for several years. Please witness a stunning mother-daughter duo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
What do you think? Wasn't that tremendous? That was an outstanding <laughs>
and Yudhishthira placed himself and his brothers at stake and lost. Finally, he was goaded to put Draupadi at stake and lost her too. Draupadi was dragged to the Sabha in the midst of the assembly where her garment was being pulled by Durshasana. Draupadi prayed to Lord Krishna by calling him Govinda, Madhava, Damodara. Krishna immediately came to protect her. By his miracle, her garment grew and grew till the ones pulling her garment got tired and fell down in a soul. After the two centuries, the choreography of the Varnam ends with Saki assuring the Nayaki that she will promptly go fetch her lot.
acting performance, wasn't it? The, the moments of her talking, uh, the Nike talking to her Saki and both the Sancharis. Beautiful and wonderful accompanying them there. Thank you. <laughs> we will now take a 15 minute intermission. You are invited to join us for refreshments in the reception area. Please return promptly in 15 minutes. Thank you.